Mobs are descending upon the Albuquerque area and exterminators say the phones are ringing off the hook with people trying to figure out what to do about the swarming critters. News 13's Natalie Wattis has this story. She is joining us live from Tingley Beach. Natalie. Chad, experts say we're seeing a major emergence of what are known as Miller moths. They say because of the temperate winter and spring that we're having, it's probably why we're seeing so many. People are freaking out. They're saying things like, you know, I open the door and 50 moths are coming in. They're flying all over my face. Are they invading my home? You, know, you get a lot of different pretty um, uh, emotional, visceral reactions to these bugs. Why do you think that is? Well, because they fly at you, or at least it seems like they do. And really, they're just scattering, but we're in the way, right? So it feels like they're coming at our faces. It feels kind of predatory. It feels aggressive, but it's not. The bugs in question, Miller moths, also known as the army cutworm. Some people say it's because the, you know, the powdery scale on their wings reminds them of flour. Um, there's some, uh, some people will say that it's because they mill around the lights. Oh, yeah, this one is a common one in the western states and the western plains. Curator of entomology at the Albuquerque Biopark, Jason Schaller, says this year's invasion of Miller moths is just part of their cyclical migration. We see them here in the south states first, and then they eventually end up in the northern states up into Canada. And at that point, there's a ton of moths, and they're a really important food source for a wide variety of animals, including bears. In fact, they're very uh, calorie rich. Uh, they have tons of fat reserves in them, but there was studies showing that they were the most high calorie insect per gram or high calorie food item per gram known of any other animal food product. The good news, Schaller says, they're completely harmless and exterminators agree. They're not going to eat anything in your home. They're not going to lay eggs in your home. All I want to do is just find some shelter as they're moving their way across this part of town. The bad news, there's not much you can really do about them. You could spray an unreasonable amount of pesticides on your home and it's really not going to make a difference. Really, the best thing you can do is if it's reasonable, just t turn your porch light off for the next couple weeks. Give them less of a reason to hang out by your door. Or if you're feeling adventurous. They're super healthy. You should eat some too. You know, very common if people don't like them, eat them. Now, according to those experts, these moths should be moving on within the next couple of weeks. Back to you. All right, thank you, Natalie. Appreciate it. Now, experts say that the Miller moths are very adept at crawling through small crevices to get into your homes.